Well, Captain and Connor has a ring to it, that job done. Uh, we'll start with you, Jack. You must be uh, delighted with that performance and result. Yeah, I'm over the moon. Um, you know, like Connor just says well, in the interview before, um, you know, we've come off the back of a, a couple of, well, three um, losses. So to get a win out there tonight was probably the most important thing. And, um, you know, I think we've done it in a good manner. Yeah, this boy's not too shabby from set-piece situations, is he? Uh, don't blow his head up even more. <laughs> nah, you know, obviously, like like we all know, you know, I've said before, everyone says it, you know, how good he is from set pieces. I think he should have had about three or four assists tonight. Um, so yeah, you know, he brings a lot to the team, and and that is one of his um one of his qualities. And obviously, with me, you know, getting fouled a lot and stuff, um, I think it works for us together. Yeah, because uh, the man to your right won the set pieces, and uh, yeah. you did the rest with them. Yeah, listen, um, Jack boys fouls all day long um you know and then that's it's my chance i suppose to, to kind of shine so yeah um it's it's what the main strength of my game i suppose and every opportunity that comes along i try and, and take it you know set piece wise and lucky enough uh, tonight it went my way yeah i make you top scorer now in all competitions with Grealish lagging behind and, and wesley <laughs> so it's not bad yeah not too bad i always like to chip in with goals and assists like i said you know i'm all about numbers i suppose um you know over the years so i'm um, delighted to, to to keep the goals coming it was good to score in that little purple patch, wasn't it? That that can make the difference in a game. Yeah, definitely. I've, um, I felt like they they probably sat in and it was always going to, you know, that first goal was going to be key to make them kind of come out and then gaps will kind of open up and um, it was it was a key time to score, like you said, and then to, to follow it up quickly with a second, it, it kind of eases into the game really well. So, you know, we were delighted with that. Yeah, when the team news was confirmed, Jack, there was a big roar amongst the, uh, the fans and they uh, made a difference as always. Yeah, you know, everyone knows... Um, you know, how much the fans make a difference, whether it's home or away, but especially here, you know, I think when I looked up, there was, what, 41,000, I think, tonight. So, you know, that support's unbelievable and it pushes us all the time. Everyone played their part and Amwar El Ghazi, he's becoming a very important player for you. Yeah, Amwar was brilliant. I said to Connor um, yesterday when we were speaking uh, about the team selection, I said to him, I said, Amwar has been the best probably I've seen him training yeah. in the last 10 days. You know, obviously Connor's been away on international duty, but the lads that have been, um, the lads that have been back at the training ground training, Amwar has probably been, like I said, the best I've ever seen him. So I think that's why um, he got his start tonight and he certainly proved it. Yeah. Goals get the headlines, don't they? But Tom Heaton, on his return, he made important saves tonight, didn't he? Yeah, of course. Um, I think the defence in general would be delighted with that clean sheet. Um, you know, we haven't had too many over the last few games, so I think that would be a big confidence booster for the defence. And like you said, Tom makes a huge difference to us with his experience and you know with his voice around around the game and, and in the dressing room. So no, he'll be delighted with that as well. What a week coming up now. Yeah, you look at it: Manchester United away, Chelsea. Leicester, I mean, three of the top teams, but but that's why you want to be in this league, isn't it? I'm sure you'll you'll all rise to the occasion. Of course, you know they're the games that you, they're the games that you live for. Um, you know, away at Old Trafford, um, away at Stamford Bridge. You know, everyone knows how how well Leicester are doing, so that'll be another game on the TV, which we're all looking forward to. Um, I think you look at our games against the so-called top six this season, and I don't think we've you know we haven't won one have we? Man City, Arsenal. Um, Liverpool, so you know we'll be relishing these games, and and hopefully we can get something out of them. I'm sure we will. Sleep well tonight and go again next time. Of course. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you.